hard work, dedication, and leadership all paint the picture of the new JW and Hazel Ruby West Virginia Welcome Center that has now been officially opened. The Welcome Center is named after the Ruby family who wanted to show outsiders the beautiful mountain state. They also wanted a place that could serve lots of folks, particularly youth, and there came in the Boy Scouts. So as we oriented this project, it really was the, the wishes of the Rubies that we tie West Virginia and the Boy Scouts together, and it's natural for this Welcome Center to do that. And now, after today's ceremony, the Boy Scouts of America will be able to call this their new home. It's a wonderful place. It has this large plaza, it has meeting rooms, it has exhibits. It's, it's just generally, you get to learn about the Rubies, you get to learn about West Virginia, and you get to learn about scouting. Um, this was designed by West Virginians, it was built by West Virginians, and it's inspirational for West Virginians. We are so pleased to be here. In 2019, the Boy Scouts of America will welcome the first ever World Jamboree. Those Scouts will be the first World Jamboree to use this new Welcome Center as a gateway to the Summit Bechtel Reserve. And the new center even caught the attention of our United States president. It's beautiful. I mean, coming by here yesterday with President Trump, he turned to me and he said, look at that building. Isn't that fabulous and everything? That's absolutely beautiful and everything. And he, uh, so if, if the president of the free world, you know, catches it, it, it catches his eye, it ought to be it ought to be duly noted just how great it is, and especially that it's in West Virginia. In Mount Hope, I'm Ashley Kafaro reporting for Newswatch.